This is BMW's new flagship electric SUV, the iX. The iX showcases BMW's latest and greatest EV technology with distinctive styling and futuristic technology inside. Prices for the iX in Ireland start from €85,815 and it has an electric range of between 413 km up to 612 km depending on which version you go for. The iX goes up against other premium electric SUVs like the Mercedes EQC, the Audi e-tron and Tesla Model X. In this video we'll show you inside and outside the iX and tell you everything you need to know but before we start remember to check out carzone.ie to find BMWs for sale in Ireland from trusted sellers. Starting outside the styling of the iX does divide opinion but whether you love it or hate it it's fair to say that it is quite distinctive looking and it stands apart from the rest of BMW's range. It is roughly the same size as a BMW X5 with a lower roof line like the BMW X6. Up front it has these slim LED headlights and this enormous kidney grille with all sorts of sensors behind it and what BMW calls self-healing technology. This means if you get any scratches or marks on the grille this plastic coating can repair itself if you leave it at room temperature for 24 hours. The iX can also send warm air to this area for 5 minutes as another way of repairing the coating. It isn't possible to open the bonnet of the iX, this is something that only BMW technicians can do. You can however press down on the BMW badge which opens when you want to top up the windscreen washer fluid. It is a bit disappointing that there isn't any storage space under the bonnet like you get in the Audi e-tron and the Tesla Model X. Along the side it has smooth styling with hollow door handles and it gets 21 inch alloy wheels as standard. This one has larger 22 inch bicolour alloy wheels which are a 1200 euro optional extra. At the rear the C-pillar has nice iX lettering, the lights are also slimline like the front lights while there's also a reversing camera integrated into the BMW badge. There are 8 colour choices and Alpine white is the standard option but you'll have to shell out an extra 978 euro to get this black sapphire paint. In Ireland the entry model is the xDrive 40 and it gets a 71 kilowatt hour usable battery capacity with a 413 kilometer range. It also gets 150 kilowatt DC charging. The higher specification xDrive 50 gets a larger 105.2 kilowatt hour battery which gets you a claimed range of up to 612 kilometers. It also gets faster 200 kilowatt DC charging. There is also a performance focused xDrive 60 model which is a 611 horsepower range topper, more on that one later. Stepping inside the iX is very impressive and a step in a different direction to anything else that we have seen from BMW before. The first thing that jumps out when you step inside the iX is this huge 14.9 inch curved infotainment screen which is joined to another 12.3 inch digital driver's display. The whole system is very impressive to use with BMW's new operating 8 system and crisp graphics. You can control the system through the touch screen here, through the dial controller on the centre console or also with BMW's gesture control. The system works well and it responds quickly although there are quite a lot of different menus and options to get through which can take a bit of getting used to at first, especially when you're driving. What's more, most of the climate controls are in the touchscreen system which is a bit frustrating and there are very few physical buttons to control the air conditioning. The new hexagonal steering wheel in the iX is quite unusual at first but it does give you great visibility of the digital driver's display with buttons for controlling the infotainment and driving aids. Like Tesla, BMW has done away with interior door handles in favour of buttons to open the door. The iX is very spacious and comfortable up front with a lot of adjustment available from the driver's seat. You get electric front seats as standard and also electric steering wheel adjustment. Up front there is additional floor space which gives the iX an extra sense of spaciousness from the driver's seat. 
Overall, fit and finish is very good. It feels very well made, as you would expect at this price point, and the quality of the materials is good, with sustainable materials used throughout. This touchpad is quite good to use on the centre console, which you can use to control the infotainment system with the circular dial. There's also the drive selector here, which you slide forwards and backwards for drive and reverse. Below this there are two cup holders, you get two USB-C charge points, a 12 volt charger and there's also a wireless smartphone charger. There's reasonable storage underneath the driver's armrest, there's also quite sizeable door pockets for large water bottles and there's also good space in the glove box too. Overall the fit and finish is good as you would expect from BMW, although there are some harder plastics in places if you look hard enough. The iX is very spacious in the rear seats with lots of headroom, lots of legroom, even for taller passengers and there is definitely enough space back here for three tall adults. It's a really nice place to spend time, especially on longer journeys. Thanks to a flat floor design there is a lot of legroom even in the middle seat too. All in I would be very happy to be a rear seat passenger on a long journey in the iX. You get two USB-C charge points built into the back of the driver's seat and two more charge points in the passenger seat while there's also large windows which give you great visibility outside. There's also separate climate controls for the rear seat passengers here. You get two sets of Isofix mounts for family buyers and there's also this comfortable armrest with two cup holders built in. While rear seat space is very good indeed, the same can't be said for boot space however, which at 500 litres is substantially less than the BMW X5, which has a 650 litre boot. It's also less than what you get in the Audi e-tron, which has a 605 litre boot. This problem is compounded further when you consider that there is no additional storage space underneath the bonnet either. That said, the boot is a useful space nonetheless, thanks to this flat floor, which is very good for sliding big items in and out. You get additional storage underneath the floor here, and there's also buttons here to easily drop down the rear seats for additional space. What's more, the BMW iX is only available with a five seat option, while you can go for a seven seat option in the Tesla Model X. As we mentioned earlier, the iX is available with three models to choose from in Ireland, iX40, 50 and 60. We are driving the iX40 which gets a 71 kilowatt hour battery, 413 kilometer range and a dual motor system that sends 322 brake horsepower to all four wheels. The iX is a heavy car weighing in at 2.5 tonnes, but it doesn't feel heavy when you drive it for the first time, with responsive power delivery and surprisingly good handling too. We are driving the iX40 and it can sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in 6.1 seconds which is swift for an SUV of this size and weight and probably all the performance you will ever need. Most buyers will care more about range than acceleration however and from our experience the iX40 that we are driving offers a real world range of between 350 and 380 km. BMW claims energy consumption of around 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers of driving with the iX and currently we are managing around 23 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers of driving in efficiency in freezing wintry conditions. If you want more power and range though, the higher specification iX50 has 523 brake horsepower and it can sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in 4.6 seconds, still some way off the Tesla Model X it must be said. The big appeal of this model will be its claimed 600 plus km range. For ultimate performance, the range topping iX60 is the one to go for with 619 horsepower and a whopping 1100 newton meters of torque. It gets from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in just 3.8 seconds. The iX gets a heat pump as standard for added efficiency in colder weather conditions and it also allows pre-temperature settings. 
Overall, the iX is enjoyable to drive. It's quiet around town, smooth at motorway speeds, and it has more than enough power for overtaking with ease. In terms of charging, the iX40 can rapid charge at up to 150 kilowatts with a DC charger, so it will take around 31 minutes to charge from 10 to 80% with a high-speed rapid charger. With a standard 11 kilowatt charger at home, it will take around 8 hours to fully charge the iX overnight. It is worth noting that the iX50 with the larger battery gets faster 200 kilowatt charging, but that is still some way off the charging speeds you will get in comparable Tesla and even Kia EVs on the market right now. The iX is available with three different models in Ireland, the xDrive 40, which is the one that we're driving here, xDrive 50, and the high performance iX M60. The entry xDrive 40 Sport with the 71 kilowatt hour battery and 413 kilometer range starts from 85,815 euro. And it has 21 inch aero wheels, LED headlights and rear lights, electric front seats, four zone climate control, BMW Live Cockpit Plus with the curved infotainment screen, reversing assistant and camera and lots more. The model that we're testing here is the higher specification xDrive 40 M Sport which starts from €89,505 and it has sportier styling with a one-piece front bumper cover, 21-inch aero alloy wheels, Titan bronze exterior trim with a choice of exclusive interior trims and various other upgrades. This one also has some optional extras including the Sky Lounge panoramic glass sunroof with sun protection glass for €4,308 and the upgraded 22-inch bicolor aero wheels so it has a price tag of over €98,000. The xDrive 50 with the larger 105.2 kWh battery starts from over €119,000 and it has that more powerful 523 horsepower output. And it is available with M Sport trim and it gets the all important 600 km plus range. The highest specification iX M60 is BMW's most powerful electric vehicle ever built with 619 horsepower and it can sprint from 0 to 100 km an hour in just 3.8 seconds. The iX M60 is priced from €137,515 and it is due to launch in Ireland this summer. So, should you buy the BMW iX? Well, if you're looking for a large and luxurious electric SUV that is hugely comfortable and refined and crammed with lots of leading EV technology, it could be one to consider. Despite its sheer size and weight, the iX is surprisingly good to drive too. That said, the iX carries a hefty price tag, especially if you want to go for the larger battery versions, which start at well over €119,000. What's more, some of its rivals offer faster rapid charging times. That said, the iX is a hugely impressive new electric SUV and an amazing feat of engineering for BMW, and it is likely to become a natural transition model for current X5 owners who are looking at making the switch to electric motoring.